Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we knocked out another one box break of Diamond Icons Baseball. Brand new release just dropped today. Uh, pick your team number five. A lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to, there's the fresh case right there. Big thanks to everyone here for uh, getting your team straight up, which I appreciate. And then Ryan ended up with Last Spot Mojo. And then thanks to everyone who uh, got those got these knocked out right here. Sorry, Brace for Life. It's too late for that, unfortunately. That'll be tomorrow. I don't want to keep you up if you're waiting for that. I know, it's hard for other products to compete against a new release day. All right, so there's box one, two, three, four. I'm gonna roll the die. It's like that nice Dodger blue die right there. We're gonna roll the die. One, two, three, four, five and six, we'll just roll again. Four, box four. Right there. Now next time, we'll either go one, two, three, or I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. It'll be somehow, whatever, however way we do it, it'll be random. All right, let's see what we got. Good luck. Book. We saw a dual relic book last time. It looks like we got one of those clear autos on the bottom right there. Dual Relic Book Card. It is for the Padres. Nice Tony Gwynn on the left side. And Fernando Tatis Jr. on the right side. And that is out of five. I was going to say that looked like a red parallel. Nice start. Padres Chase for the Padres. RIP Tony Gwynn. Gone too soon. And Chase, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And a cut auto. Four out of four, Andy Pofko. Old Cub. Another train whistle, this time for Rex and the Cubbies. Now, I'll be honest with you, Rex. I have no idea who Andy Pofko is. But let's take a look. He played with the Dodgers a little bit too after the after his Cubs years, but he played with the Cubs from 1943 to 1951. Center fielder from Wisconsin. Played 17 seasons. Five-time All-Star, a World Series champion with the Milwaukee Braves in 1957 and part of the Chicago Cubs Hall of Fame. There you go. Oh, right, Oliver. In the legacy section, Pofco is known for being card number one in the 1952 Topps baseball card set. The card in near mint or better condition is often worth tens of thousands of dollars or more. There you go. Nice cut auto. And Rex, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Next is another train whistle. It's Austin Riley. Nice patch and a one of one. That's Gary with the Braves. Got the Braves straight up. 
All aboard! Whoop whoop! Next, is it all train whistles? No. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., 23 out of 25 for Gary and the Braves. Braves got both of those youngsters, Austin Riley and Ronald Acuna Jr., locked up for a while. Ozzy Alves, Michael Harris, too. Eloy Jimenez, 9 out of 25. White Sox, that's a number block team. And that goes to White Sox, 9. That'll be for Nestor. There you go, Nestor. Xander Bogarts, 18 out of 25. Silver signature for Sean Gola. Picked up the Red Sox straight up. Nice. Four out of five, another train whistle. Out of fives and under, Dale Murphy. Gary with the Braves. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. A few more to go here. We got Barry Larkin, six out of ten silver signature for the Red Legs. Logan Collister with the Reds. Two more to go. Ozzie Smith. 2 out of 10 red ink autograph. Those red ink autographs really pop. That's Adam Harper and the Cardinals. And last but not least, it, woo! Mike Trout. That's Rob with the Angels gets the Mike Trout autograph. Wow. 17 out of 25. 10 off the jersey number. What a finish. Thanks, everybody. We got a couple other breaks coming up after this, but I'm telling you, if another one of these sells out tonight, we'll do it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.